man, the landlord of One Chance, One Life TV. Yo, 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 what they do, man? It's the Big Belly Rule, boy. You popping that mic, Smith. One Chance, One Life TV, exclusive. Big, 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 big OTM business. Got my main man, my partner, them. My co defendant, Big Man Savage. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. How you feeling, my brother? I know I'm off in that good mouth. <laughs> like, yeah. But how you feel though, like, like mentally, like your how's your mental health, like spiritually, physically? How you how you holding up? I'm 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 good. I'm I'm in a way better state of mind than I was a couple months ago. I tell you that. Yeah, like last year around the time right, and shit. Right, right. right. Uh, like we know a lot of people, like dead people, dog. We know a lot of people that's locked up. Like we've been through a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? Good shit. Well, well, would you say like you got PTSD from like shit that you done seen and been through in your life? That shit fuck with you. You can dream about it. You think about it. It'll make you move different. I, I, it. The only thing it did was make me move different. I ain't gonna count. I don't think about it, I don't dream about it, but I do move different. Yeah. So I, I guess I do, but I don't even know. It's hard to like be in a situation to have like people you love in a situation that's fucked up and there ain't nothing you could do about it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like a know. lot of a lot of shit. We could be there for the people we love, you know what I'm saying? Where the financially, somebody fucking with them or the, whatever it is. Right. So like you, you got two little brothers that I'm been to prison. One that's still in prison. Like how do that fuck with you? Like how you feel like it when they ain't nothing you can do? Like they on their own and they went in there young. Like how that make you feel? It is. It, it's, it's, it's like it's, it's like it's pros and cons with it. Cause I be feeling fucked up. Because I know on my end, I could I could have showed I could have told them boy better. I could have installed it in them like they hard headed, but I could I know I could have enforced it more than what I did. So I probably could have helped them dodge that. And then at the same time, when 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 you got hot headed brothers like that, sometimes they be needing to sit down, right? Yeah. Sometimes sitting down would be the best thing for them. It probably I feel like it would have been worse than that if they sit down. So yeah. it, it it had a, it's got its pros and cons with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I be like, I be talking to Fast Man and like, I be hearing a lot of stories about Fast, like a lot of war stories and shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like that boy in there standing on business and shit, but like a nigga told me, you know what I'm saying? One time I talked to him and like, and like you know, we live and kicking the bobo. And I'm like, well, I heard about, it, you know what I'm saying? Woo, woo, nothing happened. Well, you woo, the woo, and. I, I, I know what I said, I'm talking shit. Yeah. And you know, he's with quiet, you know what I'm saying? He was like, man, I ain't gonna lie, like, niggas be talking all that shit, like, and they sound good, but boy, I'm in a bit fight for my life, boy. Like, I'm trying to get home, you know what I'm saying? A nigga came here a kid, for real, you feel me? Yeah, you Man, he's grown ass man, boy, I'm here trying to, like, that shit to hit me, like, damn, bro, like. Yeah, yeah, he did. That shit hit me like that, too. That shit but crazy. I'm 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 a big believer on on fair game, bro. I feel like I don't I don't wish nothing on nobody. I'm I'm I hate you had to go through that, but you was playing a big boy game. That shit yeah. come with its consequences. Shit come with it. It don't make you grow up. You still don't benefit. You walk your time down the right way. Right. And you come out. You know what I'm saying? Better. All right. And you know we'll be all right. You know what I'm saying? Most we'll dope. So how you feel like about the whispers in the streets? Like before the OTM movement, before all this shit, like because I always, like I, I told witness, like I always had in my mind when I get to a certain point, I'm finna go fuck with them boys, put them boys, we, we gonna figure this shit out. But I never verbalized this to y'all, you or him. I just was, you know what I'm saying, moving with my shit in my mind, I'ma move. But I knew in the streets and look a certain way, people saying shit, whispering, that boy they left you out, boy, that boy, what, 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 what kind of role did that play? Like how you handle that shit? That um it, it for me, it depends on who the people was that were talking at, cause I knew, you knew I knew what the play was even without you telling me. Like you were still fucking with me, you were still keeping me around. 
nigga hit you up for a little shit. You, you, you doing more than what I'm even asking for, you feel me? I'm like, yeah, bro, fuck with that nigga. I already knew the time a little before it happened, but a lot of people used to come at me with that shit. Uh, like, if it's somebody who I really fought with like that, I explain to them what's going on. But when these motherfuckers, well, I don't even worry about it. I be like, bro, me and bro, good, bro, think what you think. I don't even try to explain that shit. The uh, 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 uh. So with all this shit that you got going on, everything that you done been through, everything that you balancing, like with the music shit, with the responsibilities you got as a big brother, as a son, as an uncle, as all these different titles, like how the fuck like do you not go crazy like dealing with all this shit? I did. I did. I gotta understand it. What I asked for. Yeah. That's it. That's part of you want to be the you want to be the man of the house. You want to be the one to make that change. It caused to be the ball of the man. Yeah. So me understanding that, like everything that come with it, it don't even bother me. I just balance it. Wear it on my lever scale, man. Duh, oh, duh. So a lot of people don't know, like you, you kind of like got a gift for prophecy, kind of like you dream dreams. You know, you, you know, be man, you be having this shit, like you know what I'm saying, like. A lot of shit, like a lot of times we done been riding and you would tell me like, bro, I just had a dream, this, this and that happened. Oh, mm -hmm. bro, like, uh, motherfuckers don't even know that's how we came up for that. We're not on this side. Yeah, yeah. Motherfuckers don't even know that's how we came up with yeah. that. Like, you, you would tell a nigga a lot of shit. Like, even certain decisions that a nigga be contemplating on, should I do this? And you would tell me like, bro, do this, that shit gonna work, bro. Trust me, bro, I can feel it. And you always be right, you know what I'm saying? Like, where you think that shit come from? Oh shit. I think that shit come from the God. God the God and the nigga, man. Right the God and the nigga, the ancestors around the nigga leading the nigga the right way. Helping me with answers. Cause I, I be asking myself this shit sometimes, bro. I don't I be figuring shit out. Like motherfuckers who know me know me. Like I ain't got no big brother, bro. I ain't my old boy was it. If you know, you know, you feel me? So I be figuring shit out on my own. I ask myself that shit, like, damn, bro, how you be doing that? I don't know. I think I just got the right people around me, right people praying for me, man. This shit me and me the right way. Cause I know for sure I do not pray. So somebody watching, man. somebody praying for you. Somebody got my back. Yeah, no more love. So how you like when you're a father now? My father, I got two. Like, how you deal with that? Like, how's father? I, I love, I, I love, but I ain't gonna lie, I ain't. Gonna, it, it, it brought out a better person than me. It, it helped me. It made me a more positive. It made me a man, I can say. It made me want to focus more on standing on business than the bullshit. Yeah. Than the screech and then all the fuck so shit I was doing. Yeah. Um, now I be more focused on, damn, how I can make this, how I'm finna pay that, or how I can get rich, or damn, how I'm gonna do that. I be more focused on handling that shit. Then on um, partying and hanging out and all the fuck shit I used to be on. Yeah, they got business to stand on. They got business to stand on. Uh, and, uh, all right, I'm gonna ask you that. I asked everybody this shit too. I'm interested to see what you're gonna say. If you could wake up tomorrow, be rich, M's, millions. Like, you wake up tomorrow, you got M's, but you can never do music in the end of your life. Can't never hit the booth, write a song, perform. Can't fuck with music ever again. Like, would you choose to wake up with them ass? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you gotta think about it now. Fuck that I'm shit. Alright. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm doing it for the M. Like, Dude. <laughs> I, I'm gonna take them M's, y'all. <laughs> I don't know, see if I can't even rap a song no more. Give me them M's. Yeah. Uh, 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 I write uh, shit from people and I ain't got around. Yeah, is you proud of yourself, man? I'm proud of myself. I'm still going, I ain't happy with where I'm at, but I'm proud of the patience I got on myself, believing in myself. Yeah, yeah, you came a long way, dog. Yeah, I came a long way. Even with this process, this new process of recording this project and all the shit you've been doing, the check-ins, the videos, the late night sessions, the very like, the interviews, the moving around, the learning this shit. 
Like, bro, you standing on business, bro. You should be proud. How y'all, your family life feel? Your old girl, everybody, they proud of what you got going. They, they fuck with it. Yeah. This, this the most involved. I done seen my little girl. My little girl fucking, she like that. Yeah. She fucking with it. My people fucking with it. Or duh, or duh. How you feel about the project, doggy? I just can't wait till it drop. Man. Yo, 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 you feel pressure or what? It's pressure. I mean, it's pressure. It's pressure. Cause, cause of this shit, if it ain't hit how we think it is, we gonna look like some idiots, is that it? I know. <laughs> I ain't even about that cause a nigga gonna hit. Yeah, yeah. I done, that little, I went through that phase before when we yeah. was dropping them first mixtapes. Yeah. Uh, this shit, uh, and them shits always hit. Yeah. I know this quality music, man. This real music. Well done, man. I got on here, man. The last question I got for you, man, I want you to tell the people out there in the world who don't know what is worse than being a black man in America. <laughs> All right, look. <laughs> the only thing worse than being a black man in America is being a fat black man. <laughs> and there's only one thing worse than America. Only thing worse than being a fat black man in America is being a short fat black man in America. Sis, well, I am um, big man Savage, man, big big OTM business. OTM business is the name of the project. We spending October twentieth, Friday, October twentieth. And you already know what it is, man. One one chance, one light TV exclusive. Yes, Big man, Simon. Off to that party, man. Y'all support.